the fucking city girls, JT and her fucking, her oh. fucking R. Kelly simping fucking whore ass. Oh. Let's talk about that for a little bit. Lil Uzi Vert, shout out Uzi. I fucking love Uzi. His girl right now is obs- used to be, at, at least, obsessed with R. Kelly. A bunch of Twitter, a bunch of Twitter screenshots exposed of um, her saying in YouTube, don't get mad, this is quote by, um, by JT from the City Girls, I want to get <laughs> by R. Kelly I, and, and a you bunch gotta, of... You got to bleep the... the yeah, you gotta bleep, bleep yeah. that. We'll yeah. bleep that. <laughs> we'll bleep that. <laughs> but everything, everything that she said was evolving around R. Kelly doing very abusive sexual things to her. And they were all tweets from like 2013, 2014, 2015. That's Uzi's girl right there. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, Uzi, man. She blocked me. Yeah. On IG. Why did she block you though? She <laughs> broke up with Uzi over I don't know if this was all publicity, but she broke up with Uzi over a tweet that he had from a long time ago and that's when everyone started exposing all her R. Kelly tweets. So all I did was post all her R. Kelly tweets on my story <laughs> with some young boy music and I might have called her a bozo. <laughs> Which, the shit that he she said, it's like, come on now. You can't be getting mad at Uzi. If it was, because she did say it on Twitter. If she's getting mad at Uzi over some shit that didn't even involve her, and she's talking about R. Kelly, it's like, uh, I don't know. That shit's fucked. Yeah. That leads, have you seen On My Block? On My Block? I have seen that show. Bitches be bonkers. Bitches be bonkers. Yep. <laughs> Bitches be bonkers.